Hello, welcome back to another Time Capsule Countdown. Um, it's winter out, and what better way to warm up than to reminisce about things that warmed me up and were very hard to complete. So this is all the challenges, the spicy challenges that I used to do quite frequently, the hardest ones to complete. By that is either initially doing them or waiting the afterburn period or the suffer session, whatever you want to call it. These are the ones that I almost failed or were miserable to do that afterburn. Not not the actual aftermaths, like after you've done the challenges, how bad that was. That's not what these are. Now also, I don't when I do heat challenges, I don't do like a, really heat ratings because that's all subjective and it's all based on personal experience and where your tolerance is at. Because some of these on this list, you'll see that you're like, oh, that's not that hard. But at my point in my spicy like challenge journey, they were that hard. So I'm gonna start off number 10. This is the Hell Puffs Challenge Edition by Inferno Candy Company. Um, this is one that I did fairly early on in my channel. And what I do is I got some the packages, I keep them. I'm gonna display them when we get our new house, but it looks like this, in case you've never seen it. Um, you know, it was open on the back. The spices are still in there. This had tons of spicy peppers in it, blend in it. It was very hard to do. Um, I had my nose running. You know, my throat was burning on fire. Uh, it, was, it was hard to actually eat them in the time limit because they're dry, you know, and it was hard to do, and it was hard to, the, the supper session was pretty intense on that one. Uh, number nine, and I'm, I'm going off a list so I get the names right and don't forget anything. Um, this is League of Fire Chug Challenge version two by, of course, the League of Fire. Um, and some people are like, oh, that one's not that hot if you've done uh, challenges. Well, this one, there's reasons why it bothers me like to do hot sauce chugs um, with those they make me nausea I can't talk they make me nauseous uh, back before I ever filmed YouTube my brother-in-law and I and um, one of his neighbors we just were eating like random spicy things like a little challenge who'd go the longest and my wife poured us like uh, Taco Bell Diablo sauce, which, you know, isn't that hot, but it was about this much in like a little uh, shot glass. And I did it, and it's just, to me, something that's rolling around your stomach that's spicy it's, and it doesn't taste good is in instant nausea. And that's what that did. That did not taste good. Even though it has one of my favorite peppers and it has a scorpion in it, it did not taste good. How they made it, disgusting. Um, so I was sitting there like, hmm. You know, I the heat wasn't too bad, the taste was gross, and rolling around, nausea, as soon as that camera's off, to the bathroom. Um, number eight is the Killer Queen Chug Challenge by League of Fire. Again, it's another chug. Now this one um, is like, you know, limited edition, UK Chili Queen. Uh, there's only supposed to be 600 of them, but like some people have done like 200 alone by themselves. I don't know, but whatever, I guess like now there's like a Scoville slammer out there for Johnny Scoville and they actually had the numbers on them because maybe people are starting to question how there were so many of them. I, I don't know. I'm not, whatever. I don't do League of Fire stuff anymore, This, but this was part of what affected me. And with that, there was 9 million Scoville um, extract in it. So it was, besides tasting disgusting, smelling horrible. Um, you know, stunk up the whole room. My wife could smell it. She was uh, at her old place. I was at the kitchen table, and she was a good 25 feet away, and she's like, oh, God, what's that smell? I'm like, well, it's this. It smelled like fermented garbage. To me, it did. Um, and the burn was horrible and intense. It was like, and it wouldn't go away even after the challenge was over. So besides making me nauseous, the burn was bad, and this smell, and disgusting. Not enjoyable um number seven is the death nut version three 
by Blazing Foods. So looks like this, um, and my brother-in-law and I. Uh, this one you can actually find on, on my channel. I, it was I filmed it, never uploaded it uh, till later, um, and we halved it because there was like a two-player version, a one-player version. It was still hard to do. Like this was really hot, like like ridiculously hot. Um, it was burning bad. Uh, just. You know, I got an endorphin rush when I was doing it. Um, it was just, it was horrible. And, you know, again, camera's off. Shortly after that, it found its way right back up. Uh, number six. Now, this one, you might be like, oh, well, it's not that bad either. But it's the Toa Satan by, I believe it's either Bat-19 or the Flamethrower Company. Flamethrower Candy Company. That's who it's by. Bat-19 sells them. But this Toa Satan. Well, this was only my second challenge, and after doing the Pocky Chip, I think it was 2019 version, um, I did this, and I thought that if you held your saliva in your mouth and spit it out at the end, it's kind of cheating, or if you let it run out of your mouth, it's kind of cheating. I was swallowing all this 9 million um, stuff, and it was burning, like horrible, and it was, like my chest was on fire, I felt like I was having a panic attack. Um, it was hard to finish that five minutes. Now that's the first time I did it, because I've done it twice. I redid it um, just to see how bad it was later on, and it was horrible that first time, very bad. But again, some people are like, oh, it's not that bad. Well, depending on where you are in your journey, that's how it matters. Uh, number five is Chili Cherry Nightmare, Johnny Scoville's, or Johnny Scoville's Chili Cherry Nightmare by Willie Pete's Chocolates. Um, looks like this. This was my first, uh, well, obviously there's a candy bar in it too, but uh, this is my first um, half pound chocolate, spicy chocolate challenge, and it was bad. It was, it was bad. I didn't go with the Moab, which is less first, but I went with that one. And yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. I was, my nose was running, eyes were watering, throat was burning. It's hard to swallow. Um, I think that one has like 22 Carolina Reapers in it, like equivalent of 22 Carolina Reapers ground up and put in it. That's quite a bit for anybody to eat. Uh, let's see, number four. I couldn't find my tube of terror, but it's tube of terror. Uh, I'll put a picture so you know. Um, yeah, that one, and this is the first time I did it all, so I've done that one twice. I did like a speed run following all the rules. First time, I how I read the rules was once you finish it, you start your five minute afterburn. Well, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes, the whole whether it takes you that long to eat it or not, then five minutes. So the first time, even doing it, eating them and then starting the afterburn right away uh, my ears were ringing buzzing I felt pins and needles on my head I felt like I was gonna throw up I was getting that watery uh, saliva coming up in my mouth it's horrible um, but I was able to do it again shortly after found its way up okay um, number three is the one challenge or the one by Old Agnes Store. Um, it's a brownie, like a triple chocolate peanut butter fudge challenge brownie. Um, half pound, incredibly dense. Uh, the flavor wasn't that great. A lot of people say their brownies are that good. I've had some of their normal brownies. They're okay, but it's like they don't use dairy in them because they ship them or something to keep them fresh, like or so they don't make people sick. So it's like it's missing something. Um, but this has like 20, it says Reaper, Scorpion, and 20 more other peppers are in it. So there's like 22 peppers in this, different, super hot. So it attacks everywhere. Like your mouth is like on fire, your tongue, your cheeks, your gums, your throat. You know, it's it's horrible. It's like, it feels like everything is on fire. Um, and I went for a speed on this one when I did it, because I just did this one as quick as I could, and I still didn't get it under a certain time limit. You got bonus points on League of Fire when I was doing that. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, a, and it says a half pound of danger, one half pound of danger. Yeah, it definitely is. I, if you're, 
there's a bullfrog um, next to me, and it's it's croaking at night because it's nighttime. <laughs> but anyways, um, number two is the Moab Collab, and I think they kind of like spelled this wrong because I think if you abbreviate collaboration, I think there's supposed to be two L's. But anyways, by Old Agnes Store. Um, and it's like a, a partnership with Willie Pete's and Old Agnes Store. So it's this brownie. Um, it's triple chocolate fudge Moab brownie challenge. So this one uh, was really bad. Like it, I took almost the whole 10 minutes to eat it because it was, it was harder to eat. It wasn't as mushy, but it was like more dry. And it had a piece of like candy bar in it, like the Moab bar. I was gagging. Saliva was coming up in my mouth. I was like, like doing that, almost throwing up in my mouth. It it was horrible. Like I barely got it done. And then the brownies after effects were worse. But I'm not counting after effects. But they were worse for some reason. Like I don't know. It just maybe they formulated that one worse. It was bad. And number one is Twisted Insanity by Twisted Jerky. Um, right here, little green coffin. You have to do the first two, supposedly you have to do the first two before you even order this one, but I think people were still ordering all three at once somehow, like Pepper Prentice, you know, I saw or got sent to him. He got it all three at once. But he hasn't even done this one yet. I don't know if he's afraid because he's looked on the internet and seen that hardly anybody's done them. Um, before I got rid of my all my videos and just cut my exit video I was I think I'm one of only five people that have done this I believe five or six of us and they're supposed to be was it 600 and some of these they're numbered um, I have number 10 I have number 10 or no I think they're supposed to be like a hundred and hundred and some something like that they're they're limited but not even people are buying them because I think they have a hard time with the first two the first two I found not that bad this one though intense mouth fire burning the tongue like just and you have to eat it quick you have a certain time limit to eat these and it was hard to get done because of that too and then your tongue's numb so you're almost like chewing on your tongue on the tongue on the last piece and the mouth burn again not counting that but afterwards it was longest lasting uh, after effects ever it would not go away the mouth burn would not go away what whatsoever and my tolerance was really high at that point when I did this one Right now, my tolerance is like, you know, eat flaming Hot Doritos and it's hot. No, I'm just joking. It's not that bad. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the worst. I think, yeah, I think there's only like been five or six people that have ever completed that challenge. And, you know, every once in a while I search, see, has anybody, has anybody else done it? Not that many people. Um, you know, if he made them all ahead of time and people bought these, maybe they were afraid because they saw everybody failing them and they're just not doing them. Or I wonder if, like... He's making the beef jerky, already made the beef jerky, and he's waiting to ship them, but nobody's bought them. Or he has the coffins ready, and then once people buy them, then he makes the jerky. I don't know how it works, but you know, maybe he's just sitting around in a vacuum sealed bag waiting to go. I don't, I don't know. But that was my little countdown of spicy challenges that I've done, um, completed. They were the hardest to complete um, ever so far. Again, you know, I'll still do spicy challenges once in a while if they something I want. I'm really into beef jerky, so I'll probably do those a lot. Chocolate challenges, I don't really like how chocolate tastes most of it with spice. There was one, I'll say this is the most delicious challenge. So if I ever do the most, the best tasting spicy challenges ever, you'll already know my number one. Um, but it is... Where did the sticker go to it? I think it's inside the box. Hold on. Uh, he's no longer in business. Um, this Jeff's Peppers. And this sticker goes on it. The uh, Atomic Brittle Challenge. This was delicious. I would have bought this as a snack. It was, it was really good. But, you know, some challenges, you know, like, I think they sacrifice... Uh, they sacrifice extreme heat and don't put any flavor in it. Like it's just, some of them's disgusting. Like I, I'm not a fan of those. So I kind of go with like what people say and like if I want to get them or not. 
that's all I got for this one. Um, I'll have other countdown videos and just other random videos and whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a good night.